What should you do with that list of vocabulary words you have that you want to learn, but you've heard me say the best way to learn vocabulary is in context? Today, I'm going to share with you what I do for learning vocabulary from a list in my second language. Welcome to English Coach 3Ts. I'm Tanya. Just recently, I found a way to take our vocabulary learning to the next level with ChatGPT. So like most language learners, I have a list of vocabulary words that I found when I was reading or listening to my second language. If you haven't seen my last video where I talk about how to get the most out of my story videos, then check the link up here in one of these corners Take a look at that video and bring your list back to this video. If you've already got quite an extensive list like I do, then this is what I would suggest you do. Once you get somewhere between seven and 12 words that you really want to work on, take those seven to 12 words and type those words into ChatGPT. What I like to do first is to ask ChatGPT to give me the definition of the words and see how that compares to the definition or my understanding of those words. Since you're writing to ChatGPT in English, it's going to give you the definition in English, which is a really good way to stay immersed in the English language. I would ask ChatGPT, please give me definitions for the following 10 words or seven words or the number you're working with. I recommend again, stay between seven and 12 words. It's a good number that you can digest. After ChatGPT has given you the list of the words with the definitions and you've read them so you feel pretty comfortable that these are the words you want to work with, ask ChatGPT to give you an example sentence for each of these different words. If you're interested in live classes with me on Zoom, check out our Women Speak Better program at the link in the description below. All the details are there, but if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. I'll see you in class. This is my first way for you to work with these words in context. This is kind of a study way. Now that you have a list of sentences with each of the vocabulary words you're working on, I suggest that you go back and read each of those sentences out loud. Focus on the word that's in the sentence and how it's being used, but you can also check to see if you need help with pronunciation or anything else that's in the sentence. If there are other words that you don't understand, you can ask ChatGPT to explain those words to you. If there are words that you don't know how to pronounce, you can find the pronunciation on other sites like the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, Youglish.com, or you could ask your teacher, your tutor, or your language exchange to help you with that. The next step for this first way to use ChatGPT is to take each of those sentences and rewrite the sentences using something that you can relate to. So as an example, if the sentence says that there was a boy who did something, instead of saying there was a boy, put your own name in there or your son's name in there or your daughter's name in there and use the vocabulary with an example of someone you know or a situation that you understand or experience. Write out each of your sentences and then read them out loud. This is a great way to not only understand these vocabulary words, but start to use them in a written and spoken manner. This first way of using ChatGPT is really going to help you to become more familiar with the words, their meanings, and how you can use them. What I would suggest is that you wait a day or two until you use my second suggestion. If finding new ways to use ChatGPT and learning things that will help you to become fluent is helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. My second suggestion is to go back to that same conversation in ChatGPT because you already have the words and the definitions and everything there. 
and ask ChatGPT to use those same 10 words to make a story with the words in the story. You can ask ChatGPT to do this right away so that the story is ready when you come back to it in a day or two, or you can wait and do it when you come back. In a similar way that you did with the example sentences, you're going to read through this story. You can read through it silently to yourself and then read it out loud, or you can just start by reading it out loud. Again, you're going to look for words and phrases that are new for you, and if you don't understand them, ask ChatGPT to explain them to you. Again, you're going to use those same suggestions I gave you to find the correct pronunciation. The important thing here is to read these stories out loud. I would suggest you read that story out loud at least one or two times. Reading it out loud is going to help you to process the new words in context, but it's also going to help you with your speaking skills. If you want to take this one step further for a bonus, then you can ask ChatGPT to make another story using the same words. And if there were other words you asked ChatGPT to define for you, you can ask ChatGPT to put those words in the next story. If you want to learn words in context with stories, check out this playlist of our stories so that you can learn more vocabulary starting now. I'll see you there.